Well, this really doesn't have anything to do with the boat, but I found it interesting. Uh, I bought these rigid um, 18 volt systems. Uh, these are from 2012. And they just started to die, these two. I bought together at the same time. So I registered them and you get a lifetime warranty. So I called Rigid on the phone and lo and behold, they sent me two new ones. So way to go, Rigid. Uh, they're guaranteed for life. So now I got to go online, register these with that number and there'll be a lifetime warranty on those. So what I thought I would do is these batteries, my understanding are they're a, um, hold on a sec. So through research, I found out inside of these are five of these, the uh, 18650s. So Rigid said, recycle them, throw them away. So I'm going to open these up with a uh, Torx number 10. And I'm going to see if I can't get these batteries out of here and use them in my recharger here for my flashlights because I'm thinking out of five of these if one cell's bad that's maybe why they're not working or it could be the control panel in here uh, they run pretty good until you put any kind of pressure on them and then they die within five seconds so maybe it's an overheating element inside that's saying hey these are no good maybe the cells are still good I'm gonna see if I can't take them apart pull them out individually, test them, and recharge them, and see if I can use them for my regular flashlight stuff. Okay, so there's the batteries. There's five of them in there. Got some dust on it, but it looks like it's in pretty good shape. So I think I'm just going to check the voltage on each one of these. Because right now, when you push the button, I'm getting... It says it's charged when I check the voltage it says it's charged but it just doesn't have any get up and go when you put the juice to it so this is a little sensor for heat I guess so maybe it thinks it's overheating and shuts down but if these little cells individual cells are still good I can reuse those that's the plan okay I unscrewed it took my side cutters and started snipping these connectors so I'm just going to keep going until I get these cells out. Yeah, so it says right there, Samsung 18650. Cool. Okay, I got them out. Um, I got a couple sparks when I was using my pliers a little too aggressive. And I, <clears throat> with the pliers, I cut into the plastic. And the plastic here is, I guess, the ground, and the tip is the positive. So I got a spark on this one. So I'm not going to use that one. So I got to be more careful using my side cutters to snip these things out. Whoops, not even showing you anything. So we're going to check voltage and see if these things have voltage, if any of them are bad. Now, the only problem I see is that these cells are a little shorter than the other ones this part with the ridge here is the positive we'll see what happens Okay, so I got the batteries done. I got nine of them. One of them I kind of ruined, so I threw that out, but they're charging. They're working in there, so I think that's a pretty good deal. I think those things are about $5 a piece. Score.